<clears throat> uh, what's up, blog world? Um, so it has been a while since I've done an official video blog post thing here, um, as well as just written a blog. I used to try to write a blog every other day, um, and as you can tell if you look at the dates, um, it's not really happening anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. The reality is that with my condition, with the cancer having reached my spinal cord fluid and higher up my neck, uh, just the direction that, that my body has turned, that blogging has not been a very doable feature anymore. Because um, the moment I sit down at a computer, I have about two minutes of freshness before I conk out <laughs> and literally start falling asleep. Some people have gotten some emails or text messages or even a few random Facebook posts that have been quickly deleted by my wife that consist of the letter G or a combination of asterisks and exclamation points and the letter G's um, and not in such a way where I'm trying to like not say a naughty word but the kind of thing that says I fell asleep on the keyboard kind of while doing this. I don't know if you can see me if I'm doing this. Um, Anyways, so I have not been able to blog very much because my brain is just shutting down and it is driving me absolutely nuts. So um, so this is just to say hi. Um, that I've missed you guys. It's been a while and I'm sorry I haven't been able to uh, update you very much. Um, as most of you know, and I think I was able to crank out a blog to let you know that we are officially on hospice, which means in the medical world they've decided that right now there's there's not much to do in the ways of, of healing, of beating this cancer. Um, and so the best thing to do now is to create comfort. Um, I accidentally, and I think it's kind of cool, accidentally refer to them as the hospitality team rather than the hospice team. And I think that works uh, because the the crew that comes in and cares for us, uh, we don't stay at a, I don't go stay at a clinic. Uh, the hospice team comes to our home. So we don't really go to the ER anymore. We don't really um, have to do much as far as going to the pharmacy as much because most of it comes to us. And it's this beautiful thing where they come into our home, they care for us, and they care for our children. and um, and it is beautiful, and it is wonderful, and it is a wonderful expression of hospitality um, that we are blessed by. Um, the only sad part is you only get this hospitality if you're dying. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, I hope to lose this hospitality. I hope that my body begins to um, spring life. Um, but if it doesn't, um, this, this isn't a bad way to go, to have the hospitality of my downtown community, the hospitality of my family, my loved ones and my friends, and now the hospitality of this uh, um, hospice team. Um, I also want to say thank you to to Justin Baldoni and Rain Wilson. There's a fundraiser going on that you can check out on um, on either their Facebook or Twitter pages, on my Facebook page, um, and it is there. And it is um, uh, it's it's just awesome. And it's wonderful. And it's just another expression of um, of people trying to find ways to care and to share. And so we are uh, incredibly grateful. My friend Brandon um, uh, McIntyre and Chris Chapin and a few others have thrown together another uh, another fundraising um, thing that it's on GiveItForward.com and it's called Doing It for Ryan. Take the name for what it is. Um, <laughs> I kind of like that name personally, but the point is that they're trying to find another way that we can that we can pay it forward, that we can give it forward, and that we can care for for my wife and kids and my family as um, as this stuff just gets hard. Um, it gets really hard uh, financially and just in every way, you know, in every way. And so I'm I'm grateful for those of you that have given, and uh, I'm anticipating writing a blog about giving back, and I can't wait until I can get that blog cranked out. Um, but it takes a lot longer to write a blog now than it used to. Um, <clears throat> Uh, again, you can see my blog uh, down in the about section below, where I kind of type about this uh, about this this video post, um, and I'll have my blog um, URL in there. Uh, again, it's grassrootsconspiracy.com or .com slash blog. Either way, it'll send you there. Check her out. Um, there's lots of old content um, that can walk you through the whole journey of my cancer story. Um, there's uh, there's a tab about how you can help. Um, there's all sorts of stuff there that I hope is useful and interesting to you. Um, again, I've been writing for a long time. It's only recently that people actually cared. Um, for most of the time, it was it was just for myself um, and just a way for me to get my own thoughts out there. Um, and uh, so you can check that out. That's always there for you. Um, to update you as far as how my body is doing, uh, you know, um, I don't know. I know that one day I'll feel terrible and I won't get out of bed and I'll be in bed from morning until 
uh, 3 o'clock and then I'll get out of bed for 45 minutes and lay on a couch and then go back to bed and sleep again for another two hours and then be out of bed for 20 minutes and sleep again for another two hours and um, I know that now because of uh, how we've gotten some drug mixes to work with my body I'm able to sleep at night uh, which is which is really good because it used to be that my wife had to wake me up every hour to get certain meds in me so I could sleep so I was um, wasn't waking up from headaches um, I'd rather be woken up by my wife and some medicine than by um, excruciating pounding headaches uh, now those headaches only come every couple hours um, on good days. Um, on bad days, um, it's a little bit more than that. So uh, so I have good days, I have terrible days, I have mediocre days. Right now I we're in a string of three good days, which is exciting. I was following a string of, uh, I don't know, maybe 28 bad days. So we're hoping for a little bit better ratio here. Um, uh, again, what that looks like is I, I just, I'm just asleep all the time. Like, like I said, when I sit at a computer, I fall asleep. If I sit still, I fall asleep. Um, if I'm in a conversation with you, I fall asleep. Um, and again, that's just the nature of the cancer being in my spinal fluid. Um, I have uh, terrible headaches and, and neck um, neck soreness. Um, I always have back pain. That's just part of the story when you have spinal cancer, obviously. Um, there is more, and I hope to share more of that about kidney issues and... Um, now uh, you notice my face looks a bit skinnier. Um, it's because we've gone down on the steroids a bit, which has reduced some of the uh, some of the um, the water weight. Um, and so that's always kind of cool. Um, not that it matters that much in the long run, but um, you know, it makes it makes a young man feel a little bit better. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll learn to uh, trim my goatee. But I'm just happy that I shaved at all in the last week for you. So you're welcome. You're welcome for shaving. And that's all I got. See y'all later. I hope.